On behalf of the Cape Breton Fiddlers Association, it's my honor to welcome you to the opening ceremonies of the 40th anniversary of the Festival of Cape Breton Fiddling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was about 42 years ago when the call came out to fiddlers from every part of Cape Breton Island and those who love Cape Breton music to answer that call about the vanishing Cape Breton fiddler. And a handful of people, led by our dear departed friend, Father John Angus Rankin, answered that call. And as Frankie McGinn, as one of the original members, will tell you, they knocked on doors from one end of Cape Breton Island to the other, looking in homes that they thought there might be a fiddle or a fiddle player. And they encouraged them by challenging them to that call. And they asked the question, do you believe that the Cape Breton fiddle will vanish in the next 15 to 20 years? And I think, and I hope you can back me up on this, I think that answer is loud and clear, especially on a beautiful day like today in gorgeous St. Anne's Cape Breton on the grounds of the Gaelic College where history and culture come together with the Cape Breton Fiddlers Association. Let's give these great members a warm round of applause. These are the people and many others who keep the music alive in their homes, in the concert halls, at the Cayleys, and indeed on international stages from one end of the world to the other, right around the globe. And many of these performers that you see on stage have made those journeys. Whether it's back to the homeland of Scotland to share the music with our brothers in Scotland, brothers or sisters in Scotland, or other places that uh, you know that uh, many of our fiddlers and performers travel around the world and they are probably some of the best uh, cultural proponents and marketers not only of Cape Breton Island but of Eastern Canada and we thank them for that. This afternoon we are here once again at a place that we really call home as part of the Cape Breton Fiddlers Association here on the grounds of the Gaelic College. I'd like to invite the CEO of the Gaelic College a Rodney McDonald to come forward and offer a few words of welcome. Rodney? Well, thank you very much, Bob. Falcher Oro, College on the Gaelic. Welcome to the Gaelic College and uh, a special welcome to the Cape Breton Fiddlers Association. This is the home of the Cape Breton Fiddlers Association. We're very proud to be that. And we want to congratulate uh, the association for 40 years. 40 years of not only treating audiences to, to great music, but more importantly, 40 years of encouraging young people to pick up their, pick up their instruments, 40 years of encouraging them to not only play at home, but to play on stages and take it out around the world. It's because of these individuals that so many people have had the opportunity to do so. I want to congratulate those on uh, the board of directors, those that really do the work behind the scenes to make sure that this happens year in and year out. Congratulations to all these people here. They deserve our thanks. So once again, our welcome to the college. We're proud to have you here on behalf of our staff and our board. Uh, we, uh, we wish you well with the remainder of the day and we welcome you at any point in time to uh, College on the Gallic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rodney, and thank you for being such uh, wonderful hosts and to the staff here at the Gaelic College. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, Rodney mentioned the uh, board members of the, uh, of the Cape Breton Fiddlers Association, and you see them right along here, right through to your music director, uh, Eddie Rogers, and uh, we, again, want to thank uh, the board members for all that they do. We're missing one. Burton McIntyre is uh, off in the States right now, but uh, Burton, you, is a familiar face around here as well. So uh, all of these uh, board members uh, certainly are committed to the continuing growth of uh, Cape Breton Fiddling. And Father Eugene Morris, who has been actually, frankly, probably one of our original board members, uh, did not make it as uh, either. Father uh, is uh, stationed uh, and has been for a number of years in Newfoundland, but he was in Cape Breton for a time uh, this summer. 
I'm going to ask uh, one of our, of course, Rodney, uh, it's ideal that Rodney uh, was able to come today and, uh, and act as the uh, CEO here of uh, this, uh, this uh, fantastic location. Of course, he is one of our members as well, as you know, a uh, great fiddler and step dancer. One of our longtime members as well is uh, Father Francis Cameron. And I'm going to ask Father Francis to come forward. We're going to, uh, as part of our official uh, opening ceremony, uh, we, of course, uh, give thanks for a beautiful day and the beautiful people that we are surrounded with, both out there and on the stage. Over the course of the last 12 months, as is the case in every organization and every year, some of our uh, members have departed, and we want to say a, sp say a special prayer to them and remember them, and for all of the music, the humor, and the good times that they have given our organization, but also uh, the community at large. And this afternoon, we remember our good friends, Joe Peter McLean, Kristen Ryan, Murray Osborne, Billy Matheson, Lloyd McDonald, John Ferguson, and a good friend of ours who made the trip regularly to Cape Breton from Glengarry, Malcolm Dewar. Take a moment to remember. Father Cameron. Lord, we um, glorify you to this afternoon as we recognize uh, the giftedness that's expressed here in the last couple of days. This location itself it's a moment to stop and to give God thanks for this moment. And particularly this afternoon as we are remembering those who have passed on, who have given themselves so generously and helped us on our journey as well through their uniqueness. Lord, we thank you for that. And uh, we ask you to help us to continue to carry on what has been going on in the next 40 years and beyond. And... Uh, Help us to be grateful all the time and uh, to appreciate our uniqueness and our giftedness and um, all that goes with it. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Amen. And now I'll call on Stan Chapman, one of our longtime members and a former musical director with the association, to uh, pay tribute in appropriately uh, with a beautiful uh, fiddle tune. Stan? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Stan. Beautifully done. And nice trivia. So, ladies and gentlemen, that officially opens the 40th anniversary of the Festival of Cape Breton Fiddling here at the Gaelic College. And it's my pleasure to turn things over to Eddie Rogers, our musical director, along with Lawrence Cameron on the piano, and our Cape Breton fiddlers. <laughs>